All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at another counter fairy. Yeah, they actually made another one. But this one's going to cause a lot more trouble than you think it is. So this is Aradne the Absolver. She is a light fairy, pendulum effect monster, level 4, pendulum scale 3. So 3 to whatever, you can go ahead and get that 4, which the majority of times that's what you're going to be summoning, that pee pee -poo, poo poo caca deck. Freaking forever, I think I swear. <laughs> 1700 attack, it's not bad. 800 defense, that's fine. So, it has a pendulum effect and a monster effect. So, let's go ahead and look at each. So, the pendulum effect says, You do not pay life points to activate counter traps. You do not discard cards to activate counter traps. That's pretty good. As you guys know, counter fairies play a ton of counter traps. Obviously, they're counter fairies. And uh, get kind of bonuses and perks for playing them counter traps. So, you don't pay life points to activate counter traps, i.e. being the Solemn Warning, and of course that new Solemn Notice card. So, you get to just play Solemn Notice, and you don't have to pay anything. That's pretty good. Also, you do not discard cards to activate counter traps. So, one of my favorite counter traps, and uh, one that I actually thought was pretty good in, like, Burning Abyss, because, you know, uh, they get the effects whether they are pitched for a cost or not, is uh, Divine Wrath. You know, you get to negate a monster effect, anywhere field hand graveyard doesn't matter so i thought i always thought that was pretty good to be able to go like all right well i'm gonna divine wrath your uh you know your necros monster in your hand so uh but then you would cause discard and you would still get your effect but generally people don't like to play divine wrath because you know you're using two cards divine wrath and the card you discard to stop one card so it's kind of like meh but with aradne here you don't discard to activate counter traps so you get to just negate <laughs> effects with Divine Wrath and not even paying the cost and discarding. That's that's pretty good. That is pretty good. But that's not the problem part. The, the second effect, the monster effect, that's the one that's like, oh, all right. So, the monster effect is, if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you're going to reveal three counter traps from your deck. Your opponent picks one, and you add that card to your hand, and then shuffle the rest back into your deck. So you're like, okay, well... You know, when you're destroyed by battle by card effect, you get to go ahead and do that. That, that seems like a pretty good effect, you know? All I have to do is not destroy you by battle by card effect, and I don't even have to worry about you getting them counter traps, you know? And you getting one of them counter traps. Yeah, you see, this is the problem, and this is the same fucking problem with Plush Fire. Since it's a pendulum monster, it doesn't say if this card in the monster zone. No, it just says this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect. So, when you put this card in the pendulum zone, and then you destroy it by card effect, whether it be luster or wavering eyes, the effect still goes off. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So, just like Plush Fire. Just like Plush Fire. It's like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Play plush fire, play luster, luster, destroy the plush fire, get me a plush fire, plush fire effect, some of me, uh, a perform age, and, you know, proceed to go stupid with your, your PP. alright? This is pretty much in the same exact boat. You play the luster, you play a Rodinay, luster, destroy the Rodinay, Rodinay, go ahead and reveal three counter kind of traps, and it doesn't even have to be with different names, so you could just be like, solemn notice, solemn notice, solemn notice, go ahead and choose one, I'm gonna get me a solemn notice, you know, and... The way that this deck goes off and just continues to go off and over and over and over and over again. And uh, then it goes ahead and goes into their Ignister and the Ignister goes ahead and pops her as well. Because their effect's not once per turn. So you can go Luster, pop her, get a counter trap, then Pendulum summon a whole bunch of secret summon to Ignister, Ignister, pop her. And uh, she'll go ahead and reveal more counter traps. And it's ridiculous. It really is. I've seen this deck go like uh, plus, like. 10 in one turn, ending off with like an infinity and like two, three solemn notices and a solemn warning just because of Rodney being able to search out them, them counter traps. And you know, that just makes it even worse. Solemn notice is already a busted card, we already discussed it. But then you're able to search counter traps too, like, oh no, people. And her effect's not even once per turn. As long as you can keep on destroying her, you'll keep on getting them counter traps. And whether, like I said, whether it be solemn warning, solemn notice, or even, you know, great horn. That's just another card to go ahead and just destroy uh, the matchup that you're facing. And with this card and Solid Notice and Infinity, it's literally just going to be a, a dice roll. Because with, with how powerful, you know, fully erect PP is, whoever goes first, they're just going to bust out a, a stupid unbreakable field. You scoop it up, then you go game two, you go first, you make a stupid unbreakable field, your opponent scoops up. Then game three, they go first, make a stupid unbreakable field, and then that's it. Wow, so, so skilled, so good. That was a good duel, you know. It totally interacted. Each 
each match it was only one turn because there's not much you could do but scoop it up. So Aranet doesn't help, uh, and it's just gonna make Pee Pee Poo Poo Kaka deck even more powerful because that's totally what we need. <sighs> when when it doesn't go like that, if it was really just destroyed by battle or by card effect while in the monster zone, I probably wouldn't mind her. You know, I mean, maybe they would play her just to go ahead and and even and make it even better. Say by your opponent, like if his card is destroyed by your opponent's. By your opponent, either by battle or by card effect, then that would be much better, you know. And then at least if your opponent wavering on these and you have this, you get something in return. But you, be, you being able to destroy it in your own punishment skill get the effect, and you being able to destroy it yourself and get additional uh, bonuses from it, it's just it's just ridiculous. And this card, and you're gonna be seeing a ton of this card. I'm not sure what rarity that it's gonna be when it comes out in uh, Breakers of Meta. But all I know is that this card is not going to help. It's going to be just another one of them cards that's going to be joining the, the PP deck. And it's going to fuck you. The PP is going to fuck you, people. So get ready. <sighs> so tell me what you guys think of, of Aranne in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. I just want to go ahead and review her and get her out of the way. So uh, when I see her, I can go ahead and just be like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will be back Wednesday with another card to look at. Alright people, thanks for watching.